Hello, my name is Aziz. I'm from Afghanistan. I'm working as an international ambassador at Lund University. And I'm currently a second year master's student uh, studying chemistry, synthetic and analytical chemistry. In this video, I'm going to provide some information about uh, my research topic, uh, how the life would be as an analytical chemist, and uh, I mean the research group I'm working uh, currently, a green technology group uh, at CAS in Chemist Central. So let's start the journey. Welcome. Okay, so we reached the CAS Center for Analysis and Synthesis. Let's enter the corridor. So we reached the main corridor, and this corridor, as you can see, there are lots of labs associated to different research groups. Uh, and uh, focusing, they are focusing on different topics, organic, inorganic, organometallic, analytical, polymer chemistry, and uh, several uh, other topics. So as you can see, here is a lunchroom that uh, the PhD students and uh, the researchers working in different uh, research groups gather at 12. So we eat lunch together. Well, we reached the corridor that in the right side, we have the offices of researchers and to the left side, we have the labs. By the way, we reach to my office. So, let's show you my office. goggles and show you the labs. I think it will be so exciting. Welcome to the GC lab and in this lab we have several GC and GCMS as well as CE uh, that are mostly used for advanced analytical chemistry course. Here is the LC lab, and we have several LC and LCMS. So here is one of the labs at CAS that analytical chemists mainly work with these instruments. We have here SFC, LC and teen stove from Agilent. Here is a second lab that mainly analytical chemists work in this lab. In this lab we have advanced instruments such as triple quad from Agilent and LC Qtof from Waters. So let's go to my research topic, sea weeds. I think everybody has walked alongside the coast and see some kind of sea weeds, but have you ever thought that these kind of sea weeds could be so much beneficial? Well, the answer is yes. The experts in algal science can collect some specific of seaweeds, which are mostly brown seaweeds, 
and then they do some sample preparation on them and then they will transfer these seaweeds to the labs and in the lab we do some investigation on these kind of seaweeds in my project I am going to extract I mean take uh, some kind of compounds which are called polyphenols and specifically fluorotanins so I'm going to take these compounds out from these seaweeds. I can show you the sample that I have and I am working on that. So here is a sample that I have and it's a brown seaweed and its name Fucus vesiculosus. Okay, this is the sample, the seaweed sample that I meant that I showed you before. And from this sample, I'm going to extract, uh, like, uh, take some beneficial compounds out from this seaweed with the help of this instrument, as you can see, uh, which is called SFP, supercritical fluid extraction. And the result would be here. It's a collection of that compound. But still, it needs to be processed further. So let's continue the process. The targeted analytes uh, in the SFE extract uh, are quantified with UV visible spectrophotometer. 